Why hello you lovely people out there on the interwebs. So it's been long for a video, uh, but um, we've been very busy as a family, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, uh, just a little video or something I'm doing. Um, I wanted to upgrade these, which are number plate lights. Um, they start off life like that, and they've got metal terminals that go there. And there, and then a normal, it's, um, it's, I think it's a fuse bulb, they call them. Uh, it goes from post to post. Um, don't want that. Obviously, I want LEDs like everyone else. So I went and bought these. And it said, therefore, the Fiesta Mark VI, as you can see, they're not at all. Totally different shape. Not even the right size. They're the right width. They're too short, as you can see. But I thought, hey, I'm not going to send them back. Uh, they were cheap enough. So worst case scenario, I destroy them. Or I manage to do what I want to do, which is see this plastic ridge here. All the way along there. If I can take that off, that plastic ridge off, and it should allow me to just lay that flat in there, like that. And then all I'm gonna do is just round off the edge just to accept that round bit there. And that's where the screws go. See that round bit there? That's where the screws go. So yeah, so it will sit in there lovely. So, and then I can just glue it. And let me assure you, I've already tried it because my first thought was, this is a bit dull. As you can see, I will polish it and clean it before I glue all this together. I'll show you that as well. Uh, but yeah, I've put 12 volts onto this and it shines through here like a beacon. So, hence I'm flattening all this off just with a Dremel or a Dremel-like tool. As you can see, I need a new sandpaper. She's alright at the moment, she's still got a little bit left, she's alright. But yeah, I'm just using this, uh, fairly low speed, so it doesn't heat up as quick and flick everywhere, because when plastic heats up and it gets very hot, that lands on your skin, it burns like oil, it's very, it hurts very much. So, keep that on a low speed, not too low, because otherwise it takes forever. But yeah, keep it on a low speed, and then obviously, all I'm doing is going around like that. So I'm gonna stop talking and get on with it. Is that one done? You can see it's nice and flat. Yeah, get the idea. Flatten that off. I will clean it up, obviously. Like I said, I'll polish that up before I glue it all together. But now we've done that, let's try doing the little round bits here and one down here so we can stick it on there. Let's give that a go. Uh, the reason I cut off that black tab, uh, it's not needed, so I just thought I'd get rid of it. As you can see there, that's the sort of idea I was going for. They don't have to be perfect because you're not going to see this. So as long as I've got the round shape there and there. So let's see if they fit together. 
right Lily you see there so this hole needs to come down more so that lines up there like that you can see it's just off can you see that yep so it's just off so if I move that half moan down here a bit that should sit it level and then at the other end as you can see it's not even close so what I do is I've got more material this side of the light than I have this side of the light so I'll take more off this side first and try and get it to fit then taking off this side so let's crack on with it Give that a quick go. Um, I need to stop anyway. I think we're done on this sandpaper. No, we still got quite a bit on it. Yeah, no, we'll still use it if we need to. Right, let's see if this works. Okay. So again. I need to bring this down just a tad because as you can see I've got a bit of a doesn't see that doesn't match up so if I bring that down a tad sorry about the camera moving I've got it balanced so if I bring that down here a bit more so it's round and then that should sit flush same as that one that's sitting flush now and I've got a bit of movement in it if I need to just adjust it a little bit but it's sitting in between the posts now so like I said I'm just gonna do that last little bit quickly and then once I've done the other one which is there and I've cleaned them up and ready to glue them on I'll bring you back and yeah so let me quickly do this and then uh, we can get on with the other one Oh, let's give that another go. Perfect. As you can see there, sitting between the two posts. Yeah, lovely and all the way perfect. And when these light up, oh boy, do they light up. But I will show you the end result once I've done the other one. And I've polished this up, cleaned it. I'll show you me gluing it together. And then uh, we'll get them on the car and I'll turn them on for you. And then you'll see how nice they look. But yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you when I'm ready to glue them. Right, here we go. Uh, like I said, I'm going to show you me gluing these together. So, um, I've got to get a, a Q-tip because uh, the glue bottle has glued itself together so we can only get the lid off. So I'm just going to use a cotton earbud just to get some glue on it and get this off. So we don't want the uh, cotton wool on there. Right, I tell you what, we'll just cut this off because it's being a pain.
And of course that's not sharp enough. There we go. Ah. As modifying lots of stuff, um, there's always change of plans. Um, I had to hack the face of these off. I had to take the actual face off. Razor being, it was too thick. So if I left that on there and then glued that to that, it would be too thick. It's like double the thickness. So I took that off. We go away with that. And just nice straight lines. Doesn't have to be perfect. And obviously, that will sit like that. Yeah? So all I'm gonna do is get some glue on the tip. Just gonna place it around the edge here. Around this edge here as well. And obviously hold them together for as long as it needs to go off. But this is super glue. Um, window fitters kindly left us behind. So yeah, just nice strong glue. As you can see, it leaves the top. So I can only use what I can use. So we get around it by using just a cotton bud. it where you need it you see it takes a little bit longer oh don't smell this stuff in wow Yeah, get the idea. Let's quickly do this one. How many of you use super glue and get it all over you? I always seem to get a bit on me. I don't know why. I think it's the nature of super glue. How many of you stick your fingers together? Right. That should be that way. No, it's the other way. There we go, look. Getting it on me already, look. let that go off and I'll bring you back why hello you lovely people out there on the interwebs uh, yeah slight problem with the last video I was gonna do the finishing touches and show you them lit up but unfortunately when I go to stick them in as you know I glued all this together as I went to stick them in I should have had a look at the actual boot of the car because I then wouldn't have stuck that guy on and I wouldn't have stuck it on this one as well as you can see I've had to take it off again so I've took it off again poked it through so it comes out I'll show you the one that I've got out already so that's it out so all I'm gonna do it's just put it on there like that 
obviously I'm going to center it so the lights are in the center luckily I've got a lovely little dot there can you just see that see that little dot so I'm going to center it through that little dot so I know that they're centered then and the way I'm going to attach them is nice and simple I'm just going to use the good old glue gun so this is the next day by the way I'm sorry I apologize should have told you that so I'm going to set up get the glue gun hot once it's hot I'll show you what I'm going to do with the glue gun and then uh, obviously I'll do the other one and then then I will put them on the car and um, I will get a day shot and I'll get a night shot so um, the end of this video hopefully will be tonight and you'll be able to see them lit up in all their glory so let me set up the glue gun and set you up on a tripod so I don't have to hold the camera and uh, yeah you see me gluing it to the actual fascia I need to do this as well just for a simple fact uh, it will waterproof it as well so you're killing two birds with one stone really you're attaching it to where you need to attach it to and you're waterproofing it at the same time you're sealing it so no water shouldn't get in there hopefully but what I might do is I've got like um, a plastic not a plastic like a rubber membrane in my shed it's similar to this stuff here and it's about the same thickness so what I might do is just put little bits of glue around this just to hold it and then I might get some of that rubber that I've got and just trace trace out cut cut a hole in the middle plunk it down and then start to heat it up because when you heat this stuff up that I've got it's not that stuff that shrinks or anything like that but when you heat this specific plastic up it will mold to that I found out so any any hard plastic like this if you heat it up around that it will mold around so then I will have this whole area in this rubber so I shouldn't have to waterproof it so that should be more than enough so when I screw it in to the boot it should be lovely so yeah like I said let me set up and I'll get you guys going then see you soon right here we go here the glue gun hopefully is hot enough just so I can show you what I'm going to do uh, it smells hot hot enough so let's give this a whirl Of course, nothing comes out on camera. Why would it? There we go. I don't want too much because, like I said, I'm going to try with that plastic membrane that I've got in the shed just to seal this off properly. Just let that go hard for a minute because I need to transfer my fingers over to the other side and I don't like this stuff, it's really hot. Yeah, so as you can see there, so that will hold it where I need to hold it. Let's blow on it. Oh, you like that, don't you? See, it's starting to go like opaque. I think it's opaque, you say. It's like changing colour. It's going like a milky colour. I've got to stop moving about. My camera's not very good. Sorry, focus. Hello. It might be the trainer it's focusing on. There we go. As you can see, it's going opaque. My poor wife, she's just... I think she's cold, that's why she's shivering so much. But, <laughs> oh.
yep starting to go so I can yep I can touch it it's perfect and like I said you lovely people I centered the center bulb oh, there with that dot do you remember I said about the dot it's like a center for the actual plastic and that's what I've done so now I can keep hold of this side and I'll glue that side and of course it's just pouring out of my glue gun now Sorry. Right, that's that. So once that dries, I'll get. I'll do the other one. Once this dries, once the other one dries, I'll get a bit of plastic, and I'll show you what I was talking about with it. So it seals all this circuit board up, basically. Okay. See you soon. Right, I have finally done what I wanted to do. I didn't want to film me um, basically heating this up because the way I did it, I don't condone it and I don't want people copying what I did. So just say I, I used a naked flame on this and it, it makes it go like rub, really rubber rubberized, if that's a word. And uh, yeah, it allows you to mold it around. It doesn't look pretty. But when I screw it up into the car, I'll be able to just trace around it with a good Stanley blade and then cut off all the access basically. So that was my plan. I've executed it, I think quite well. As you can see, it all sealed. And this is the stuff I'm talking about here. It's this stuff here. A, a roofer will know what this stuff is. But you can literally pull it apart. But when you heat it up as well, it goes like glue. See? And that's just the heat of my hand. I made a little dicky bow. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. How cool is that? Right, I'll get them on the car and uh, I'll bring you back. See you soon, you lovely people. Right, as promised, like I said, uh, when it starts to get dark, I'll show you what them um, number plate lights look like. So, let's have a look. Help if I stick the key in the hole, eh? Bing, bing. Oh yeah, very nice. If my wife could quickly turn them off for me. Can you just turn the lights off? The Lorraine dial by the steering wheel. Just turn it all the way off. Now back on again. Thank you, my dear. There you go. As you can see, lovely and bright. And hopefully, they should last a long, 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 long time. So, there you go. Like I said, like and subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, leave your comments, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon with another upgrade to this car. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.